So this short screencast, I say short, uh, hopefully it won't be too long, uh, is going to go through one of my favourite apps uh, for my iPad uh, when it comes to creating music, and that's one called Launchpad. Uh, Launchpad by Novation is free, and uh, gives you the ability to create uh, your own um, sort of um, individual music um, sort of compositions um, really simply through um, samples, samples of um, different parts of a song. So. Uh, you get uh, drums, percussion, bass lines, vocals, all those sorts of things uh, available to you through samples that you can start and stop and use to develop your, and build your own uh, songs. Now, I find this really amazing. It's, it's not only really um, quick and, and what have you and very intuitive to use, um, but um, the, the production quality on all the samples is brilliant. Now, um, there is a store. Uh, in here, and you can buy um, sort of different styles of music to add into your library that you can use in your various competitions. Um, but you, you get a, a standard set, which are really, really nice and, and uh, produce some fantastic results. So um, before you sort of go spending some money, um, certainly have a look through those. Now, how might I see this being used in a classroom? Well, you know, you may well think, well, it's music, so actually. It's only really got uh, any use in the music space, but you could be using it for lots of different things. Um, it could be um, that you're using it as uh, background music to put onto a podcast. Um, it could be that you're going to use it as the background music on one of your presentations, uh, maybe in Explain Everything or in Book Creator um, as the background music for your book. Um, the sound quality is, is awesome, and, and the quality of the, the uh, music as well is really, really cool. So um, let's just have a little look through the interface. Um, so yeah, you've got the store, um, you've got your news at the top where it talks about uh, things that are happening with the app and, and things you can do with it and what have you. You can also go to recordings and view any previous recordings that you've made and what have you. And um, you can change the tempo of your um, chosen style of music. So I'm on a house at the moment, which is uh, 127 BPM. Uh, I prefer my house a bit slower, about 120. Uh, so I've got 122, that's fine. Okay, and uh, that's that's it really for this screen. You obviously can choose different genres and what have you that you can see there, drum and bass and breaks and hip hop and so forth and so on. Uh, but I'll stick with house for now. And so I tap open and that will then swing through to my screen where I can see how it all breaks down. Now if I tap on the eye in the top right hand corner, the uh, inspector bit, um, that sort of breaks down um, the various pads that you've got uh, and, and explains to you sort of how, how the whole screen works. Okay, so um, within here we can see that we, we, we run our pads in columns. Okay, so you can only press and, and play um, any uh, one pad in a column at any given time. So I could play drums bingo 1 in a top left hand corner, but I couldn't play drums TFU drum 22 underneath it at the same time. Okay, but uh, we can um, play all eight channels um, or eight columns. Um, at the same time should we want to, so there's plenty to play around with. Uh, working across the top to get back to our home screen where we started, we just tap home, um, then we've got recordings, which is the same as before, so we can go in and we can um, uh, sort of go back and look and play and, and work with our recordings. I can go to edit, and I can pull across um, different um, uh, sort of sound effects from different categories, uh, samples from different um, genres, uh, bits and bobs, so forth and so on, to add in. Uh, you can, if you pay for it as well, bring in your own custom samples if you want to. Um, but really, you know, do you need that? Maybe in music, maybe not really for uh, other lessons. So I'll turn edit off. We've seen the inspector, that does that, that's fine. The button below the little circle is your record uh, button, so you just tap that and that will bring in, uh, kick in the recording. Um, then below that, um, oh, and just press that record button again to stop the recording. Uh, below that we've got filters, um, volume and effects. Uh, uh, now uh, we can see what they look like. Um, so you've got your filters which you can slide up and down to apply a high or low filter pass across the sound that you've got there. And you'll hear that in my little demo in a minute. Uh, the volume, uh, well that's kind of obvious, you can turn the, 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 the channel up and down. Um, and then you've got the effects. Um, we can do a variety of um, filter band passes and stutters. And you'll hear how they sound and what have you when I play around with the samples in a few moments. So um, I think all I need to do now really is just have a little play. Uh, so you can hear the sort of things you can do. Hear the quality of the sound, uh, sound samples that we've got. And see what you can do. So here we go. Let's start with uh, some bass.
you get the idea. Okay, so that's the app. If you do some recordings, and I've recorded then, I can then see it in my recordings. I can tap onto my recording. I can change the name of my recording. And you can see you've got some uh, options there. Uh, some uh, options there for exporting. And you've got Dropbox, uh, SoundCloud. We can email off. Uh, one of the most exciting features as well um, is the audio copy. If you tap on there, you can give the audio copy a name. Uh, and you can then copy that uh, recording you've made to any number of different apps. If I just go to compatible apps, you can see some of the ones that I've got there um, already installed. But as I scroll through, you can see there are literally you know, tens and uh, loads and loads and loads of different apps that I can just audio copy um, that um, recording from into. Uh, so you can use it furthermore elsewhere without it ever having to actually leave uh, your iPad. So um, that is Launchpad. Uh, it's free on the iPad. And um, have a play. I'd love to hear how you're using it uh, in your classroom if you uh, are using it. Uh, okay, thanks a lot. Cheers.